Hi, I'm Greg Hagger. Welcome to this Greg Space Shed lesson. So today I'm going to talk about how to play octaves on the bass guitar. Now I'm going to specifically look at disco lines, but everything you learn in this lesson you can use in all styles of music. So bass players play octaves all the time. They can be quite tricky to play, so I'm going to show you some plucking fingerings and some fretting hand fingerings that you can use to help with octaves. So first of all, let's play a very basic octave pattern that you'll hear in loads of songs, like, for example, the chorus of Car Wash. So we're going to start on D, so 5th fret of the A string, and that's the octave shape. You go two strings up and then two frets across, okay? Now, play the top octave with your pinky, with your little finger. So a lot of people will try and play it with their third finger, which technically is one finger per fret, but it's a lot easier to play with your little finger. So you're playing one and four, okay? Okay, so that's just on D and D, okay? And with your plucking hand, use fingers one and two. So use one on the low note and two on the high note. Like that, okay? And we're just gonna play D, B, C, C sharp, D, okay, with octaves like this. Okay, up to speed, it sounds like this. So when you're playing these sort of patterns for disco, I play tend to play a longer low note and a short high note. So have a listen to that again. And if you watch my hand, I'm kind of keeping my first finger close to the fretboard and jumping a little bit of my little finger. Okay, so you're just using frets five, and then down to two, three, four, five, and just shift your hand across the whole time. Okay, so just play it slowly, first of all. And that's your first basic disco bass line with octaves. Now I've written this down on the PDF, so that's pattern one. You can get that in tab and standard notation for free if you click the link below in the description. Okay, so as I said, you can hear that in the um, chorus of Car Wash and loads of disco songs. If you recognize that bass line, let me know in the comments um, what other songs you can hear that in. Now, for, if you look on the PDF, we're gonna look at the second example, and this is the chorus from Gimme Gimme by ABBA. Okay, so this is a classic chorus that just uses that octave pattern again. So it starts on D, and it's like this. Okay, so we're shifting again all the time, just using one and four. So it's D, B flat, C, D, B flat, D, C, D. Okay, so it just uses D, C and B flat, okay? And again, this is on the PDF, so this is um, the gimme gimme example. Okay, and up to speed, it sounds like this. Now there are some really cool little articulations and variations uh, on the original bass line. You might have heard me play a little slide there. Okay, so I'm sliding down with my little finger there. And I'll play that quickly. So that bit. Okay, so there's slightly different um, changes to it, but the basic pattern um, is the one I've written down. So get your head around this kind of basic octave pattern, um, and then we move on to pattern two. Now on this pattern, you've got to play two notes on the top octave. Okay, so again, use one and four in your fretting hand, and with your plucking hand, use one one, two, okay? One, one, two, one, one, two. If you try anything else, uh, it's a bit more tricky. Some people do use their thumb on the low octave and then they can use thumb one, two, but I've kind of never really learnt it like that. But I would play one, one, two. And then we can use that for the pattern that we played before, D, B, C, C sharp. And you may need to do that really quickly to get that right, that's absolutely fine. Your kind of target tempo for a lot of disco songs would be something like this. 
it sounds really cool when it's played up to tempo. Okay, so that's pattern two. Now if you look at pattern three, what we're doing here is we're playing two notes on the bottom. And what you do with your right hand is you play one, one, two. So you keep one and then play one again on the low note and then two on the top note. Okay, and we can play that pattern again with the B, C and C sharp. Okay, so you've got kind of three patterns. Just on the D you've got and then and then and if you can play all three of those patterns, um, then you've got the basis of most disco songs that use octaves. If you're enjoying this lesson, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell. That will inform you every time I release a new video. If you played the bass line to We Are Family, then you'll know that it's a very tricky bass line to play accurately and with some really good groove. Um, it's such a nice bass line. It starts on A, it's got a little tricky fast octave. Okay. Okay, so bottom A. So that's another pattern. Okay, so again, I'll use one, two, one with your plucking hand. So just practice that a few times. And everything's pushed into the next bar. You play on the last, on four and. So you listen to me playing the whole loop. So you push into everything. So slowly it starts on A, G, D, G, and then G, G sharp, A. Okay, so you're just really doing a pattern on A, G, and D, and then back on G again. Um, so you're kind of doing Okay, so four and one, two, three, four four and, and you're playing on that four and so that's why it's a tricky riff to kind of get your head around and it's very short notes in it as well okay and then at speed So I've written that down as well. That's the last one on the PDF. So again, you've got that in tab and standard notation. So make sure you grab the PDF and start doing some work on these octaves. Um, when I first started playing octaves, I really struggled with them. I found them tricky to play in time and accurately. And it's really all about what your plucking hands do. And if you've gotten a different kind of octave pattern um, to one of the ones we've covered and you find that you can't do it, then experiment with different fingers in your plucking hand and you'll probably find this one where it works for. Well, I hope you enjoyed this introduction to disco octaves. If you've got some favourite disco songs you'd like me to cover, then let me know below in the comments and let me know how you got on with this lesson. If you want any help, just ask me a question now and make sure I reply to all of those. And please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Now, if you felt that you've got some value out of this lesson, then you can always buy me a coffee. Um, there's a $5 coffee. This is a virtual coffee. Um, I save these up and get all my coffee beans to keep me um, fueled to make these lessons lessons and PDFs. Um, so that's the um, link below at the bottom of the screen. But if you want to click on the link, then have a look in the description. And in the description, you have the link to the PDF, um, to my website. I've got loads of courses there and books and extra resources. So there's loads of interesting stuff in the description. If you can't, if you're viewing this on a mobile and you can't find the description, there's a little triangle underneath the video. You just click that and that expands the description. This is Greg from Greg Space Shed. Hopefully I'll see you very soon in the next video. Mm -hmm.